but equity unit trust fund as risky as other high risk investment. So equity unit trust fund, you know, invest in share one, you know, buy share, Malaysia share, China share. So are they risky? No. And then are they as risky as other high risk investment? Maybe like, like Bitcoin, uh, maybe gold, uh, maybe some of the uh, investment scheme, private mandate, or maybe preference shares. Let me go back to the basic structure of the unit trust fund. Unit trust fund in Malaysia, at least, uh, is unique in a sense because as a unit holder, you are the one who invests the money. Say, for example, you put 100,000 to invest into fund manager, say company A. In the Malaysia FIMM regulated investment unit trust funds, the money that you invest into this fund house never go to the fund manager, never go to the bank account of the fund manager. Then the money of 100,000 go to where? This 100,000 of yours actually go to the trustee. And this trustee is a separate company. Say for example, this is company A fund manager. This is company B trustee company. These two trust, this trustee and fund manager got no ownership, no relationship totally at all. So this trustee is a third party trustee that the duty is to hold the 100,000 capital for you. So whenever this fund, this fund manager is supposed to invest the money for you and say, buy Genting, buy public bank, buy uh, maybe F&N, buy whatever share, pop globe, what happened? Fund manager will give the instruction to the trustee, I want to buy this share. And how many units each? Then the trustee will buy the share according to the fund manager's instruction. But there's a power and there's a beauty of this structure as an investor that we should know. So my next question here is, uh, the share that the trustee buy, Genting, f and Top Glove, Hatter Lega, all these share, these share are all kept by who? The share of your 100,000 being bought, plus the outstanding balance of the cash, sometimes not fully invest, are all in the hand of trustee. The next question here is that, if the fund manager, for whatever reason, the management poorly manage the company, the company go into the insolvency, bankrupt, a lot of creditor sue this company, go bankrupt. What happened to your money? Your money will be safely protected here. You can confidently go to the trustee to claim your money because your money is not mixed up with the cash flow, with the company fund of this particular company. So this, as you can see now, is a very important structure and powerful protection measure to protect your money, especially your serious money, especially your retirement money. No? Whereby you, when you retire, and when you are 55 or 60 years old, uh, what, what you want to do is that when you are 63 years old, uh, or when you're 65 years old, your money continue to be there. No? The last thing you want is that no, you invest in some investment, be making 10%, 20% or 30% for you. But when you turn 63, the company is just kaput. And then, sorry, all your 2 million retirement money there is gone. You cannot afford that. But if you do invest into unit trust fund, licensed and regulated by Malaysia authorities, that will not happen. The capital will be there. Okay. So next, but unfortunately, in the investment out there, most of the investment, okay, do not have this third party structure. There is no third party trustee. So when you invest a hundred thousand, this hundred thousand go to the fund manager, and we really do not know whether this fund manager. Keep them your hundred thousand separate from their employee salary payment or their rental payment or whatever investment the owner is going to do or not. So you can see when you have this comparison, uh, if I were you, oh, 
I, I will feel cold sweat. <laughs> I really do not know. No, I really got to pray very hard that this fund manager is very honest, very transparent, manage your money very well so that it will not affect my capital. So that I always want to emphasize that. When we invest our money, everybody say, what is our eye? Fair. No? What is the return on investment? Will I get 5%? Will I get 8%? Will I get 12%? This is smart. Huh? Ask this question. But that's not enough. There is another, another IO, ROI that you should pay attention to, which is return of investment. What does it mean? So it means that you must not you must be also getting the money uh, of the return of 10%, 10%, 10%. But at the end of the day, when you want to withdraw the money, or when you are using the money to, to fund your retirement expenses, you, might, you want to make sure that when we to withdraw the money and return the capital to you, this provider, this investment provider can return the capital to you. Okay? So, Unitrust investment so far is one of the few investment structure that has taken care of not only the return on investment, but also the issue of return of your investment and investment capital. Equity unit trust fund with third party trustee structure are much safer than many high risk investment out there. If you compare to like Bitcoin, you compare to shares, direct share investing, you compare to Agarwood, la, Durian, Arowana, Fish Scheme, la, Forex trading, gold, buying gold, and all these things. Many, if not all, of these investments do not have a third party trustee structure to protect your hard earned money. 